there's not a lot of happy endings or there's, you know, there's a little ambiguity. Sometimes stories are sort of, you're left with people in a bad spot still. But I think it's the people sort of struggle and it's just sort of fighting and enduring some, some of the things they go through. And that to me is enough. It's, it's you know, a little glimpse into their lives and they go through a lot of hard things. And just the ability to endure seems to be the thing that hang, hangs all the stories together. Some of the sort of underlying tension and creepiness and the darkness to them, that, that's something I borrowed from other sort of genre fiction, like horror fiction. And at some point in my life, um, I started reading books like Cormac McCarthy and things that are very dark and based in real life. And I just decided that things in real life can be more, much more terrifying than anything in horror fiction. As far as the subject matter, it's you know along the same lines. It all comes from stuff in real life. A lot of it I was run, I ran away from in my writing. I didn't want to mention my hometown. I didn't want to mention some of the crazy things that happened there, and um, didn't really want to give it any any justice. But it just works its way into your stories. All these things that happen to you. Um, there's a lot of violence. There's a lot of like grim sort of dark things and there's yeah a lot of wilderness and um, that sort of becomes an extra character in the book but that's what interests me it interests me something where there's danger there's things at stake um, there's life or death matters involved and I think that's important even if it's dark and even if it's grim and it's violent I think it's important in Canada that we accept that we have those things as well and it l lends a bit of potency to certain Canadian people that I don't think is recognized. I think we're also seeing a lot of interesting voices that we haven't seen in the past and they just didn't have access or they didn't have the ability to get here. Um, it wasn't the hardest for me but it wasn't easy and it was hard enough for me to get here just writing about you know sort of working class rural people where I'm from so there's tons of people in Canada that have, haven't the, are untapped resources as far as really good um, writing and, and subject matter so I think that's coming.